Okay, let's talk about the heat one more time. People, I'm sure, out, outside grilling and stuff, they ran back inside at 5 o'clock to watch the news. Right. Yes. We hope, right. <laughs> it Many is. people consider this uh, to be the unofficial end of summer. It's hot out. And whether you're out enjoying a barbecue, like we just said, riding a bike, or watching the Cleveland Air Show, you've probably been trying to beat that heat. Good luck. News 5's Catherine Ross live for us right now near Edgewater Park to show us how some people are trying to stay cool, trying the operative word here. Yeah, exactly, Robin Bryn. Uh, anywhere near the water has been a really popular spot today, especially if you were out here watching the Cleveland Air Show. You can still see the line of cars leaving from that. Still more people coming to enjoy the water itself. But a lot of people tell us, despite the heat, they're determined to enjoy one of the last summer weekends here in Northeast Ohio. New business ventures. I think it's just really fun to like be like a little entrepreneur and stuff. Can be risky. And I'm just mostly doing this for fun. I don't really... I'm not too worried about the money. But Max and Graham Lopez are selling a reliably sellable product. Take the scooper and you fill, fill it to the brim. A cold glass of lemonade is proving popular on the hot holiday weekend. Not far from the Brothers Edgewater Lemonade Stand, spectators and staff are trying to beat the heat at the Cleveland Air Show. You see how large F-18 is, plenty of sunshade underneath that thing. Some of the performers tell us the heat may have an unintended benefit. You can tell it's a little bit more humid today, so you actually might see some more like vapors coming off the jet, which is pretty cool to see. The heat hasn't cooled the turnout for the air show's last day, but medical staff are standing by in case of any heat-related illnesses. Heart problems, diabetes, those things, they become more difficult to manage when there's heat. So it's not just heat stroke, but yeah, that certainly is one. They encourage anyone outside to take breaks if possible, seek shade, and drink plenty of fluids. Hydration is, is absolutely paramount. It's part of Max and Graham's business plan and plan to stay cool. We actually, we drink some. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like, go in the house and out. Whether you're beating the heat right, that's a tip. or capitalizing on it, many tell us they're just soaking up the last of summer. So Come over here, you can see that we fill it up with ice. Yeah, and it is really important to make sure that you're taking care of yourself if you're out in the heat. Doctors tell us to watch for things like nausea and dizziness, headaches and confusion. Those can be a signs of bigger problems and you should seek medical attention if you experience any of those. But for now, we're live at Edgewater Park. Captain Ross, News 5.